Hi, it's Donovan Everett here from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Race number eight, uh, 1,000 meters the distance. It's an MR82 handicap uh, that will round off uh, proceedings on Wednesday, 16.45, the off time. And we've got joint favorites here. Chara Sands, number three and number nine, Mask On, both at nine to two. Number 10, Stanley Park is at five to one. Plinian is at 11 to two, along with number seven, Hippocrates. And then it's seven to one and better Baldos. You can scratch number eight, Q the Rebel. Field of nine runners uh, are set to line up. My top choice is going to be number three, Chara Sands. Now, I went for the source last time out in a big way. I thought he was terrific value at 10 to 1. And he was a bit unlucky not to get the job done. He was uh, caught in a pocket for uh, a run. And uh, stable companion, bless me, Fred, just got first run on him. And I think that made the difference at the end of the day. And Muzieni uh, rode him last time out. Rachel Venica is back aboard this five-year-old son of Visionaire, whose form on the poly track is, is good. He's a two-time winner of a course and distance. And from a three-draw, he should get the right run in transit. And I think he's going to be a massive, massive contender for top honours. Number four, hope is power. Now, there was uh, a lot of uh, talk and uh, a lot of confidence around this runner last time out. And uh, he, he got a good run in transit. And then just as they, just as they were going around the bend for, for home, he sort of just pecked. And uh, he took an awful, awful sort of stumble. And uh, Muzietni had to... Uh, sort of uh, pull him out of contention and uh, thankfully both horse and rider were both fine and uh, this horse is returning 42 days later. He is a win over track and trip. He has uh, got the four cages off the back. Now uh, the four cages could certainly help this uh, horse uh, 56 and a half on the back so he could uh, he could be a factor and then you've got horses like uh, B52 who can run a nice race from that one draw. You've got a mask on who's holding form quite nicely. His last two starts have been against strong company he ran, fought behind, hit them hard, Sunshine, and then fought behind Don Carrari in a far stronger race. And if he has to put his best foot forward, I think he'll be a massive contender. So uh, around numbers three, nine, four, and one, I think we could potentially see our winner there. But number three, Chara Sands, he's going to be the top selection for me over this uh, five for long trip. Yes, uh, Rahil, it is a bit of a, a, a tough race. And uh, chatting about number four, hope is power. The apprentice uh, Breven Plykes is aboard taking the four kgs off. Yes, was a little bit uh, unlucky in the last start when that happened. Clipped heels on that occasion, checked very, very badly. But prior to that, the form was very good. So we'll just have to see how this horse comes out of that. But the form is really good. The horse runs well on the poly track and it's got the apprentice aboard. Breven Plykes taking the four kgs off. So you can throw this into the back end of trifectas and quartets. First selection for me, I'm going to be with number one, B52, at around about 8 to 1 in the fixed odds betting market. I'll be including this in the last tote double, um, exactus, trifectas, as well as a place accumulator banker, because I do believe that this horse has an outstanding chance of winning here. The last start set the pace on that occasion. That was, of course, at gravel over a thousand meter trip with Samanga Kumalo aboard does have a plum draw now and Tristan Godden is riding exceptionally well and if you dig really <coughs> excuse me if you dig really deep in the form lines on the 2nd of August I remember when the source went down to the start was also backed on that equation on that occasion and ran 2.15 lengths behind Turbo Boost, also led on that occasion. So from this draw, I'm expecting this horse to lead. Whether he can go all the way or not, only time will tell. But it's that kind of a race. It's very, very tricky. So we're going with a little bit of value. Second selection, number three, Shara Sands. Now that last run was an absolute cracker. If you look at the comments in the computer form, it says bolt hit on the head. If you do go and watch that rerun, it looked like the horse 
obviously by mistake got hit on the head with the stick into the closing stages and uh, you can't really see that very clearly but the horse did kind of duck into the closing stages when running on very strongly so number three shara sands has to have an undeniable chance but it's a very trappy contest one three and seven are my numbers but i'm going to be having an each way bet on number one b52 from the peter musket yard each way play, number one, B52 in the final race on the day for Devon. Number three, Charasan is going to be the play for me in race number eight. And uh, between numbers one and three, perhaps you can play some exactors swingers and uh, include these horses in uh, those uh, last uh, doubles and uh, even the jackpots if you are playing a jackpot on Wednesday. All the best with racing out at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Wednesday. It does look to be quite an interesting card. Not a straightforward card. A couple of favorites Devon and I have gone against uh, in the races and hopefully... We've managed, managed to find you some nice value on the day and uh, managed to guide you in the right direction. Devon, thanks very much for your time and uh, looking forward to the race meeting on Wednesday. Yeah, thanks very much, Rahil. Plenty of value on the card and hopefully we can point the punters in the right direction and everybody can be standing in the payout queue. Absolutely. Thanks very much uh, for watching this Gallup TV selection show. All the best with racing out at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Wednesday. Hopefully it treats you well. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. <laughs>